Hi, my name is Pit Kiamani Vaughn. I'm the Community Development Manager with the Community Development and Economic De Office with the City of Burlington. I am here with three uh, individuals who are going through our My Brother's Keeper internship program in partnership with Channel 17 Town Meeting. And we're here to talk about their experience in the videotography internship program. So we have three students here um, that have been filming NPA meetings, they've been filming um, community meetings and also interviewing people in the community. And we have our first person here. You want to introduce yourself? Um, hi, my name is Boniface. Uh, I go to Burlington High School. I'm a senior this year. And I'm Germain. I also go to Burlington High School and I'm also going to be a senior this year. Uh, and I'm Olivier. And I'm, I also go to Burlington High School. I'm a rising junior. So can you tell me, uh, all of you, uh, what interested you in this internship, particularly with uh, filming? And um, also, how long have you been in this program? Um, what interested me to join this program was uh, how to, I wanted to learn and gain uh, skill knowledge with working with cameras. And how I got into this program uh, was through YES program, which uh, was about how to develop in jobs and careers and stuff like that. And uh, I, I enjoyed this program because I think I've had an interest in filming for pretty much my entire life. So when I heard that about this program, I immediately wanted to do it. And I've been in there for almost three years now. Yeah, what made me interest joining this program is also, yeah, I was interested in filming too. And when I saw my friend joining that, and they're like, yeah, I want to do that. And this is like my second year, I think, yeah. Oh, great. Um, so how about some of your experiences that you've had um, when filming? Uh, for example, you interviewed some community leaders and um, you went and talked to some youth. So um, can you share a little bit about those experiences, what you've learned from them? Um, well, at first, at first, my first uh, uh, filming interview was it was pretty difficult. I had technical issues, and as along the way, I kept uh, learning. And yeah, yeah, same. Uh, mostly, I happen to be interviewing people. So uh, I think I've learned a lot from that. I'm now mostly on the camera, so I wouldn't say I know much yet. But yeah, I learned some skills about how to interview people and how to, you know, make people want to talk to you. Yeah, like what Bonnie said, the first it was kind of hard. Uh, when we keep like doing it over and over time, yeah, you kind of get yeah, used to it, yeah. Great, so um, I would say that um, definitely, you know, like learning those skills of like setting up, how to answer um, and write questions out. Um, how, what was the process like? How, how did you prepare for that? Did you get together, come up with the questions? Um, before the, each show, um, can one of you talk about that? Well, um, before the interview, we had like, to write questions down, and we needed to know what the person we're interviewing, like what uh, does he work in, what is his career, so that we know like what questions to ask, what are the appropriate questions to ask. Yeah, yeah that's it, pretty much. Was there a favorite um, show that you did? Um, a, a favorite like community leader that you interviewed, or something that stood out? Yeah, um, we once interviewed a um, police chief, I believe it was, and uh, I am kind of interested in that sort of job. So talking to him was really nice to get his knowledge and stuff. Excellent. Um, so, yeah, just tell me more, a little bit about yourself. So what are some of your favorite things to do besides, um, you know, videotography? What are your sports uh, that you do or out outings? Um, well, for me, I like, uh, I like running. So I do cross country and do, uh, through the winter, I do skiing cross country again. And I like playing volleyball. I mostly play video games. And, or, yeah, that's pretty much it. If I'm not playing good video games, I'm just hanging out with friends, stuff like that. Yeah, I play video games and I also like to play soccer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and what's your plans for after uh, high school? It doesn't have to be a particular college or a place, but what do you see yourself doing in the next um, couple of years? Uh, well, because I'm graduating next year, I haven't thought really through like that, but what I want to do after I finish high school is go to college, but somewhere near, but not in Burlington. Hmm. I'll probably end up in the police academy a year from now. Yeah, after high school, uh, yeah, I think I'll try to go to college, maybe somewhere near by, maybe UVM. I, yeah. Great. So did any of this, um, the internship, did it affect um, your decision um, where you are now than like when you first started? Has it helped like formulate any new ideas of what you can do? Well, at uh, first, uh, we only knew like a camera, it's just a camera set that you can just move uh, back and forth. But now we know that there is a lot of inputs and wires that needs to be connected in, uh, in order for the camera to work. So I would say we gained most, a lot of knowledge. Yeah, yeah, for sure, I agree with him. Um, before we got into this, we didn't know much about um, interviewing and the camera work and even editing, but now afterwards we know a little bit of each part of that, and it could something that it could be something that we can do to get better at and potentially be a career. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I like what Jeremy said. Yeah, we learn more. Uh, maybe it might be a career thing. I don't know. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of. Uh, transferable skills, even if you don't go into um, the videotography or TV, you learn skills around management, skills about public speaking, and also organizing meetings. For sure. Um, so, yeah, Olivia, the, you did one show where you went out in the community and um, interviewed people on um, the importance of voting, like why they vote. Uh, did you learn anything particular on that, like about the voting process or why people vote? Uh, yeah, I actually was kind of interesting, like, just get to see how people uh, out there sharing what they, the type of voting, yeah, it's kind of good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. How about um, the, the, the two that you did um, on interviewing the youth um, and um, public safety? Was there um, things that you learned about your own peers on what they thought about safety and school? Yes, um, so we got like to see uh, back when in the beginning of the pandemic when all the stuff was going on, uh, we were talking to these people about um, police safety in, in high schools and we got to see everybody's pr perspective of that and we agreed with some, we disagreed with some. It was nice to see that. Yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, that, that reminds me, too, um, of doing everything remote. How was that, like, with trying to get together remote and get the speakers together? And um, what was the difficulty or some of the challenges with that? Uh, it was difficult because, you know, you had to do it uh, on your own computer, on your own device, which is pretty intense. <laughs> You think you're going to join the meeting, the, uh, the meeting earlier, but afterwards you join it late, like five minutes late because your phone isn't working, or your internet isn't working because a lot of people are working on it. So, yeah, it was in, it was difficult for most part just because of you know everything's it's not in person. It was on the internet, so like you might ask somebody a question and like the way they answer, you can't really hear them or. Oh, right. They might be having technical issues, so you have to stop the meeting and like have him rejoin. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's very difficult, especially <laughs> like me. I have a big family at home, but to find a quiet place is kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of family, um, how was it balancing out an internship, school? I know some of you did after school, like sports, and then taking an internship too. It's that's a lot to juggle. Um, can you share about how you managed it? Uh, well, time management. I before like, this program, I wasn't working on time management that well. But when I started this program, I wanted how I I found out a way to balance my time. 
so I can do all things that I, I like or want to do at the same time, which worked out greatly because uh, the communication was good with uh, my peers. Yeah, I agree with Bonnie said, yeah. <laughs> the communication, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I don't know, I don't do much after, like besides school, like I'm not into sports or anything like that, so it was a little bit easier for me because I'm mostly free after school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I think that even if you're not doing a lot, it's still taking on additional responsibility and learning about um, meeting, meeting people beyond the school and um, you know, like beyond like your your team um, here, but um, other community members and folks that you're you're working with to not only interview but also editing. I imagine you have to meet with. Um, the, the Channel 17 crew to learn how to edit. Right. So um, can you talk a little bit about that? How, like, did you ever have experience with technical editing or like, what did you learn about that? Um, so editing has been another one of my interests for pretty much my lifetime. And uh, when I, before I got into this program, I actually had a editing class at uh, BTC, which helped me a lot, so. When I got into this, it was easier to edit the videos that we make, and because I had a class before it, hmm. so I was pretty used to that. Uh, I I wouldn't say I had that much experience with editing. I was still adjusting to new technologies and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, like what it worked out greatly. Like what when he said, yeah, I actually thought it was I didn't have that much experience. I actually, thought editing was easier. But it was actually hard, but when you get to start working here, editing, I got to know more stuff, yeah. Great. And, um, and tell me a little bit about um, uh, Burlington. Did you learn more about your, the city that you lived in? Is there anything that is um, that you didn't know before this? Because you, you filmed a lot of community meetings, too. Mm -hmm. And I know um, you probably heard a lot of uh, projects and just information there. So. Yeah, um, yeah, most of the time we get to talk to uh, like most of like group leaders, the groups that are in the city and like the people that are in the city pretty much. And yeah, we just got to hear from them. Uh, I would say a few new things that we didn't know before, mm -hmm. which is good. And a couple of things that we already knew. Right. Yeah. Yeah, how people can engage. There's different ways that you can go and get your voice heard. For sure. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I would say in um, just in thinking about um, the benefits of an internship uh, in general, or um, uh, this one particular in um, getting the word out uh, about like videotography internship, uh, what advice would you give to um, someone uh, or your your younger students that are are like? Um, interested in internships like what would you say about it um, and how would you be a mentor uh, I would say this is a nice op it's a good opportunity because after you finish high school it will be hard to get so it's better to start earlier to just search for a career yeah I would uh, advise anybody that is interested in editing or filming or who is comfortable with talking to random people on the streets to join because mm -hmm. you get to learn all of that from this program. Yeah, if you're interested in like uh, video editing and stuff like that. And also, like if you're in high school, don't have anything to do. If you try to join different programs for your career, yeah, it can help you with your college stuff, yeah. Mm, great. So school's gonna get back soon. What are you all gonna do with the last um, week or so Oh boy. <laughs> have to prepare for school back or just like you have any plans of like last summer fun activities? Um, nothing really. I haven't really thought about it. I didn't realize how soon it was going to start till now. It's kicking in. Yep, yep. Summer is really quick and it sneaks up for you um, yeah. the fall before you know it. Yeah. Um, so that's all the questions I have, unless you all have any um, last words you want to say to the people, um, words of inspiration, or like last thoughts of, uh, from a young person 
like what people could do to help young people achieve their goals in career and um, in college pathways. So um, I, uh, I think that definitely um, you all are the next generation, you know, to really lead us and to develop um, new opportunities and, and, um, and new ways to be. So any last thoughts of how we can support young people? Um, you can go. Uh, I don't really know, but I'm just gonna say to anybody that like doesn't have that many knowledge on like how people, you know, like, um, uh, like in the government way, like this would be a good program to learn about that because you get stuck with most of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That. yeah. Right. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, civic engagement components and community yeah, yeah. development leaders that you've met um, that are making um, like big decisions, and right. it's great that you all got to get connected to that. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching with us, and thank you for Channel 17 for supporting these young men, too, um, in achieving their experience and goals. So um, with that, we're signing out. Thank you.